part of my PhD project, I'm going to have to use the large instrumentation FLA grill at uh, ILL and uh, ESRF. And uh, I don't have any specific background to use this instrument, so I decided to come here. We get a fantastic opportunity to learn about different experimental techniques, and that's, that's just highly relevant for me because I work as uh, an experimental scientist with X rays. Uh, well, uh, actually, I have been meaning uh, for very many years yeah. to use uh, synchrotron facilities because in South Africa we don't have uh, any synchrotron. Mm -hmm. So, my first point of contact obviously would be to participate in the Hercules to learn about the different synchrotron techniques that I can apply to my research. My project is uh, mainly concerned with uh, single crystal diffraction and uh, with uh, electron density uh, modulation. And for that, we need to go to synchrotrons to measure. So I've been to the APS once to uh, measure some data. And um, so I thought it was a good idea to get like the real background of uh, how a synchrotron actually works and mm -hmm. to get some experience. Also, to get new ideas for other kinds of experiments you can do at the Sikachin and also at the, the island for your trucks. I think it's uh, really nice to be with uh, different people coming from different backgrounds and uh, and the practicals here are really nice as well. Socially it's really good because you get to make uh, contacts, I guess, uh, that are interested in the same things as you. Mm -hmm. and. Um, also, you get to, these practicals, I think they're really useful. It really gives you a hands-on experience and insight in these techniques and you get a feeling of what it really is, how this can help you in your research. The lectures, uh -huh. uh, they were very informative and also uh, meeting other participants and networking with them and uh, I mean listening to what they are doing in, mm -hmm. in, uh, for their research and also getting to uh, communicate and also to talk to some of the beamline scientists. So that was the highlight of my stay here. Okay. After all the theory that we had during the lectures, I think it was really, I really enjoyed actually going to the beamline, actually seeing what they can do and to see how they measure data and all that. I think I'll remember that most. Mm -hmm. Because you actually were you were active yourself, mm -hmm. and I think that was uh, very very educational. I now know where to go to do my experimentation and uh, who to ask uh, if I need help to find uh, where to fly. Really get some perspective on which techniques I might uh, begin to use in the future, mm -hmm. and I I sort of get a better feeling that. Maybe there are some techniques I haven't thought of before mm -hmm. that I can use for my research that I learn about here. So I think that's going to be really useful. Obviously, when I go back home, I would like to incorporate some of the techniques that I have learned here in my own research. Mm -hmm. So also I'm planning to submit a, a, a yeah, proposal for yeah. so yeah. beam time uh, because the, the techniques that, that I've been using are basically for bulk analysis. So if you, uh, I want to look at things at cellular level, then the synchrotron uh, uh, radiation would be perfect for that type of uh, analysis. Yes. It's uh, really good to get some new ideas from. Mm -hmm. So when I'm at home looking at my own project, maybe I'll get some new ideas for uh, how I'm going to process my data.